Hello friends, welcome to another game tutorial. In this video, you'll be learning how to use Paths tool in GIMP. If you are new in this channel, please consider subscribing. I publish weekly tutorials on GIMP, editing, photography, and tech. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Paths are easy to learn and use in GIMP. The POTS tool is very powerful, allowing us to design more accurately. To use POTS tool in GIMP, we first create a pot and then stroke pot. Stroke pot means to apply a specific style to the pot such as color, width and pattern. A pot has two main purposes. First, we can convert a closed pot to a selection. Second, any pot open or closed can be stroked. Anyways, first we activate the pot tool. We can activate it by clicking on this icon or by pressing B on the keyboard. And then you will find tool options here. The design mode allows you to design and edit existing pots. Edit mode allows you to add additional nodes and also allows you to edit previous pots and handles. Move mode allows you to move the pots freely anywhere in the canvas. You will understand it better as we progress. Right, now we create a pot. To do that, click on the canvas to create a starting node. Now we have a starting point. To continue, we create more nodes. If you want to delete any pot, simply press uh, the delete key. If you want to create a new pot, click on the point from where you want to create a new node. The great thing about the pot tool is being able to adjust curves. Just click and drag the curve. You also can adjust the curves with, with the handles as you, as you want. To close a pot, hold the command key and click on the starting node. To add an additional node, change the mode to edit and then click where you want to add a node. If you just want to draw straight lines, then select the polygonal. If you need to move the pots, change the edit mode into move and then drag the pots where you want to take. Pots don't affect the layer unless we fill and stroke them. Right. To fill the pot, click on fill pot option, then choose the style.
Similarly, click on the stroke path option and choose the style for the stroke. We also can select the path and can modify the selected area as we want. The path tool is great to select anything more accurately. Now I will be drawing a path around this object and will stroke it just to show you. You can spend time uh, doing that. As you'll be spending more time, uh, you'd be able to select the area more accurately. Now I stroke the pot. Friends, this is how you can use pot tool in GIMP. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.